Uh, you know, I'm, I look like, uh, you know... <laughs> How is life for a woman in Malta? Do women feel safe when they're walking alone around Malta? Are they getting harassed when they're alone in the bar? And how is a dating life in Malta for a foreign girl? The answers to these questions and many more you will get them from my guest that I'm having today, a beautiful young lady that is coming from Turkey and she's been living in Malta for over one year. And now before we welcome our guest guys, I would like to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Maltazon. And please do not skip this part of the commercial because it's going to be quite beneficial for you. Maltazon, the word itself is coming from Amazon. However, it is based here in Malta. It's an online store, guys, that I bumped into it completely randomly. It was a Sunday and you know that in Malta, many of the shops around the area are closed and I urgently needed a pair of headphones. I was googling around and I discovered Maltazon on the Vault application. They are open Monday to Sunday and they're working up to 8 hours per day. They're dispatching all their items from Mrihel, which is quite central in Malta, meaning that anywhere you are around the island, you can get your desired parcel within minutes and at a very low cost delivery service. On their online store, you will find pretty much everything that you need for your daily needs. Guys, the website is called Maltazon. However, in the description of this video, you're going to find the link. Please have a look at it and get ready for a huge surprise. One more time, I would like to say thank you to Maltazon for partnering in today's video. And now it's time to welcome our beautiful guest from Turkey, Elif. Sweetie, thank you so much for being in today's video. Thank you for taking the time to answer some of the questions that I have related to a woman living in Malta. Yes. But the very first question that I'm going to ask you, mm -hmm. why Malta? Well, it's, it's sunny and it's lovely <laughs> and it's lively. That's why. <laughs> Short oh, and clear. <laughs> yes. Well, that's one of the best reasons why people like to move here yes. on the island. Now, how long you've been living in Malta? Uh, I've been living in Malta for more than a year now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. When did you realize that you settled down on the island? How many months it took you? Yeah, so first couple of months is always uh, it's hard since you're trying to find a place to live in, to settle yeah. down. But after two, three months later, I, felt... I, yeah, I felt like home. You came uh, to Malta on your own? Yes. Without yes. any friends yes. or a boyfriend or anything like that? And the funny like that. thing is that I never been to Malta before. I moved to Malta. So straight, I just wow. straight away moved I to Malta. I wonder where you were getting information uh, about the <laughs> I was getting it from Alex in Malta. <laughs> Sponsored by Alex in Malta. <laughs> now, you've been living in Malta for over one year. Yes. And you've been through quite a lot going out on your own, yes. meeting new friends, uh, starting to work. Speaking about this, how was it for you at the very beginning when you were here on your own before even you meet any friends? Yeah. Going out, socializing, going to bars. Mm -hmm. How was it? How was that experience? Did you get harassed by any men? Uh, well, the thing is that first thing, you know, you feel a bit shy because you feel you moved to a different country. But the thing is that I personally didn't face any harassment or anyone coming and trying to do something to me. Good. And But the thing is that it's the thing that I can tell about Malta is that everyone is so friendly yeah. and everyone is open to a conversation and everyone yeah. is open to meet to new people because everyone is from different countries here and even the Maltese, the locals, you know, yeah. they're very friendly and they like to meet with other people and I I had, I had, started having really great friends, like I had you as well, you know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now speaking about this, this is when you go out in bars, mm -hmm. but have you ever encountered when someone like late at night when you're mm -hmm. walking mm -hmm. will try to talk to you or harass you or whistle or something like that? Well, I didn't because there are some times that I walked at night by myself from a mm -hmm. bar or from a club to, to my own place and I didn't face any problem. And then like, wow. you know, some occasions, you know, you act like you're talking on the phone and um, I didn't even do that. So I yeah. didn't pretend that I was on a phone to feel secure. Yeah. So for me, I didn't, I didn't have any these kind of problems. What about finding friends mm -hmm. in Malta? Well, finding friends, um, if, you, if you're a really sociable person, like if you mm -hmm. like to talk to people and then if you like to meet with people, I think it's a great opportunity. And um, as I mentioned before, you will, you will meet with 
people from all around all over the world. the world. Now you mentioned all of this mm -hmm. about going out and also walking and not being uh, harassed by men. So if we have to put Malta on a scale about safety, mm -hmm. how safe is Malta for a woman on her own well, on a scale from one to ten? Mm -hmm. I will say it's uh, eight, nine. Okay. out of 10 so I feel, I, I feel secure and it is a secure country it is a secure country mm -hmm. but eventually you need to start dating oh. and you need to start meeting new yeah. people <laughs> as we said you came here in Malta as a single girl yes <laughs> how was the dating part well where yeah. can girls find boyfriends Ooh. or where can gays <laughs> find boyfriends <laughs> yeah, you can do a whistle no no I'm just kidding and there is a man in front yeah. of you <laughs> No, uh, but the thing is that you, there's lots of um, online platforms like mm -hmm. Tinder and different platforms and then you can just use that and mostly everyone is online on those platforms. Really? <laughs> yeah, and uh, you, will, you, will, you will meet your soulmate there. You know that I have <laughs> never been on Tinder just to have a look to see who's out there <laughs> for huh? fishing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about this, now you have a boyfriend, so yes. you're not single anymore. No, I'm not. How did you find your boyfriend? Uh, well, mm. <laughs> I just feel like this and it just came. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, I, I met him from an online platform as well. Now, I'm pretty sure that there are some women that are watching this video yeah. and they are interested also to get the prices, the costs of the services that a woman can do here in Malta. Yes. Such as waxing, uh, brows, mm -hmm. nails or anything like that. Can you just uh, pick out several of these services and products that you're buying and using here mm -hmm. in Malta and tell us the prices? Of course, and uh, uh, I just want to say that there's lots of opportunities in Malta that you can find from facial treatments and uh, waxing and doing the nail salons. Okay. And the prices for waxing changes from 20 to 35, it depends on what you want to do and also the nails as well, it starts from 30 and so on. And However, you want to design your beautiful nails, <laughs> and um, but I, I I use it I use it the treatments and so on I and I didn't have any mm -hmm. problems. Okay, what about the hair salons? Mm -hmm. How much is a cut, uh, haircut, and coloring? If you're coloring the hair, do you know these prices? Well, me I don't color my hair anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, the thing is that I know that even like cutting it starts from twenty five to thirty euros. And it goes and depends on where you like the the professional of the saloon. Ah, yeah. I see. Okay. Now we are speaking a lot about dating, about work, moving to Malta, and there is something that just popped on my mind. Mm -hmm. You are in an international office. Yes. So you have people from pretty much everywhere. Where you joined the office here? Mm -hmm. How did you feel as a woman? Did you feel on the same scale as everyone else? Yeah, uh, well, I work in iGaming and then mm -hmm. in my office is basically more men than women. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So men are dominating the iGaming yes, world? Yes, yes. And okay. uh, that's the thing that we want to change in our company and that's what we are doing at the moment. Employing more yes. women as well. And then wow. we are in part of uh, Women in iGaming. And oh, wow. I'm also in representing also Women in iGaming as well. And but I, even though there's lots of men in this uh, industry, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you can come in. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> Thank oh you goodness. so much. You know? Ah, look you. at us. You know, I noticed you when you were walking out, and I noticed her. I'm like, wait a minute, there is a girl. <laughs> nice oh, to wow. meet you. What's your name, nice by the way? To Kate. 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 This is Elif. Nice to meet we are you. making a video right now asking I'm speaking with Elif she's a very close friend of mine yes. and we decided to do a video women in Malta uh -huh. now I don't have one I have two <laughs> one is brunette the other one is blonde <laughs> can I ask you the same question like yes, how sir. do you feel as a woman here in Malta like do guys approach you hit on you or something you know, like that? yes sometimes guys approach me uh -huh. but it is in a very friendly way. Okay, same. Yes, yes. Very friendly. If we compare it to my country, this is uh -huh. Latvia, I'm from Latvia originally. Okay. It is very friendly and like... Forgot the mic. <laughs> <laughs> they're friendly. Yes, they're friendly. They're not like, come on, you should uh, They're not go pushy. To... Yes, yeah. they they're do not, not harassing push. you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Have you ever encountered if you are like outside on the street and at night and guy to whistle to you or beep with the horn or something? No, never ever. Never. Really? Ever here. Yes, yes. 
and wow. uh, you know I'm I look like uh, you know <laughs> <I'm> blonde. <laughs> How do you look? What do you want to say? I look like you know? blonde here in Malta. This is very exotic. I mean, and still, and still, I I feel very very extremely safe. Wow. Extremely safe. Even yes. at night. Even at night. Even when I'm. Uh, uh, with the music in my headphones, <laughs> so I'm still, I feel very, very extremely wow. safe. And last one, how long you've been in Malta? Nine months. And you've been watching my videos? <laughs> yes, sir. Sure. Oh, thank you so much, Kai. Thank you. Wow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See you soon. It bye was bye. so nice to meet bye you. Bye, 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 bye. Ciao, ciao. 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 Wow, this was insane. See? That See, was I was so lying. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a leave confirming. Hold on, hold on. This is a lot that have happened in one minute. Yeah. Guys, I'm giving you all the behind the scene. I don't care. I'm not going to crop all of this. This is going to stay in the video. Wow. She was so friendly. Yeah, she was amazing. I didn't get a contact or anything. Kate, if you're watching this video, please oh send me an email. Contact at alexandalta.com. <laughs> okay. I had two more questions yes. for you that I wanted to, to ask you. The first one, tell me a day off of a woman living in Malta. Your mm -hmm. habits, what do you do? I know uh, we go out, we oh, have yeah. drinks in yeah. Hamid. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so the thing is that um, Malta, especially in this weather, it's, it's very amazing. And um, what we do is basically go to happy hours. Oh, okay. Malta is popular with its happy hours. And you can get wasted, <laughs> not spending that much. Yeah. And uh, and then we just go to the beach and enjoy the beautiful view and the sea. Yeah. Yeah. I have the last question that I, for me, it's like something the whole video is about, mm -hmm. which is giving an advice to people for them to understand life of a woman here in yeah. Malta. But what would you advise a woman that is moving to Malta on her own? Mm. What would you say to her? Well, I will say that um, if if that opportunity is given to them, I will I will I will take suggest it. them to just to take it. I did it, and I was alone, and I was brave enough to do it, and I'm happy that I did it. And if I had this opportunity again, I will do it. And I'm happy to have you here. Same here. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. And here we are coming to the end of the video, guys, and I honestly couldn't be happier and more satisfied. I genuinely believe that these type of videos are extremely beneficial for you guys. And if they are, make sure to like this video, share it to any other beautiful woman that is planning to move on the island. As well, I'm going to remind you about the sponsor of my video, Maltazon. As I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, they are selling quite interesting stuff. Please have a look at them, Maltazon on Vault and also check the link that is down in the description of this video. Please have a look at the link, see everything that they are selling and then text me on Instagram. Speaking about Instagram, make sure to follow me over there because I'm going to do quite interesting giveaways in the month of June and July. And until I see you in my next one, bye!